Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my NBA 2K23 playlist. Today, continuing NBA 2K23. So, next game will be against the Charlotte Hornets. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Super fun. We've been playing a lot of home games, which has been good. <laughs> Here in the middle part of the season, Grant, what are the biggest challenges for players? Well, BA, it's mental, physical, and emotional fatigue. Night in and night out, you have to stay focused. With the amount of games teams play, all those back-to-backs traveling across the country, bringing it every time out can be difficult. So the Hornets starting five. Even as a forward, Gordon Hayward can run the offense, Grant. Hey, B.A., he is a tremendous passer. Hayward's average over five assists a game during the season. Having Gordon in the front court really helps with ball. Curry's shot is off. Hayward to pass the ball. Back to Hayward. Ball outside from behind the arc. Rebounded by Green. Pass to Poole. Wiggins outside. And here's Curry. White with it. He's guarded by Washington. White. Good. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. On offense, here are the Hornets. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Wiggins against Hayward. Washington a screen. From nine feet out. Charlotte again missing. Great contest down low. Allowing no easy hoops is a winning approach. Curry against Rozier. Green for three. Here's White. Here's the second effort, and it's good on the lay-in. White's got his second basket on the night. Yeah, he's going to work early on the offensive glass. He's so amped up. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. Now here's Hayward. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. <laughs> Count it. There they go, finally able to drop one in on their fourth try. Poole outside. Wiggins passes to White. And oh, then throw it down. White. Alert and aware. Wiggins sees his man flash to an I think that was my first dunk where this, right this power up here wasn't Easy activated. So the takeover wasn't activated, and I still dunked, which was pretty cool. It could have been because of maybe Dimer from Draymond Green. Could have been because of Dimer, I'm thinking. catch the opposition. Three Unprepared points. and unalert. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. And out of bounds. Charlotte will uh, you it. don't often and see the that. It's making a change here. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Here's Ball. 23 points his last outing. Washington, a screen on pool. Ball passes to Washington. It's hauled in by White. White's got four rebounds now. And when it comes to their up-tempo play, do the Hornets' youthfulness play a part in that, you think, Clark? There's no question about it, B.A. I mean, a younger squad definitely, I think, means more natural energy. So they've got more gas in that tank. Their amber light rarely comes on. And they can really outwork uh, more experienced, older teams in some cases. The Warriors have gone three of eight so far. Poole against Oubre. It's Wiggins on the wing. Misses the three. The Hornets have gone only two of six from the field. Pass to Oubre. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by White. 
White's got six rebounds now in the game. White with a screen on Rozier. Curry drives in. Here's White. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Only in quarter number one. He's put in four out of five. Great start. Charlotte trailing. Now here's Williams. The three from Ball. Warriors with the rebound. White's got rebound number seven tonight. Curry passes to White. Forty-six seconds left in the first quarter. Poole finds White. Yeah, that one's good. White's got ten that. points in the game. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Poole against Ball. Pass to Ubre. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Here's Curry. Jacks up a three. Williams grabs the board. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. With four on the clock. Good. He oh, the middle ball. He missed those open shots, and then he made that one. The mellow ball. Just a moment. A big group substitution here for Charlotte. Williams is checked in for Richards. Washington comes in for Hayward. Terry Rozier, he's checked in for Ubre. And the mellow ball is subbed in for Wall. Curry and Poole, the sharp shooting backcourt for him. Moody is out there with Draymond Green. Oh, man, and we're down six in now. Center position. We've got to answer. The Warriors five. We've got to answer. Trailing. And here's Curry for three. That one doesn't drop. Look, I know he wanted to answer with a three of his own, but you got to play smarter. Play your game, not theirs. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Grizzlies delivered quite a performance. He dropped 23 points and gets in shooters' heads with the shot blocking. Monster production. He was focused. He was relentless. Everyone is still buzzing about it. Guys? Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Williams, a screen on Curry. Shot clock at six. Outside, Williams. The three-pointer off the mark. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Curry, no good. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He's still scoreless. Washington outside. The fadeaway. Offensive rebound. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Curry from deep three-point land. Curry with another miss. The Hornets with a lead. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Curry against Ball. Washington a screen. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. And so it's John Wall making highlights for the Hornets. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And it's too early to pick favorites for the dunk contest. And moving forward, a lot to like about that first half for the That's it for us. Thanks. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from John Wall. 
They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Steve Clifford. Rozier out on the wing with Hayward. Then there's P.J. Washington. Then it's Ball. And it's Williams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. You know, I wouldn't... Steph has missed a lot of threes this game. I don't know. I don't know if I should call for the ball more. He's 0 of 10, 0 of 9 from three. Bad start. He's if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection his, his, has been. He is really missing shots score. this game. game Not real Steph, you know. The video game Steph has really missed some shots. Oh man. And now it's down nine. When you're in the trenches, you know, we were hanging in there because of our defense, but if we're going to give up shots, too, it really it's going to be too difficult for us. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. Just owning the offensive glass right now. Just refusing to let I mean, we just need a better game really from Steph, you know? If he goes 0 for 10, 0 for 9 from 3, we're right not probably going to win that game, and we're going to need it. Oh man, Terry Rozier. He's rolling. And now down 10. But the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. Wiggins passes to White. Hornets with the rebound. Oh man, that's a tough miss. It was a good intention for sure. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. And Rozier, here we go. The three ball. The Warriors pull it in. Thing is, we need Steph to heat up. If we're going to win, we need him to be Steph. There's a screen. Curry passes to White. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. White's got four points now. In the like Steph has Dimer and he makes so all those stats better, inside. right? So and that's why they continue to get attacked. And we need him. We need him to heat up. Like we're if not going to win this step. They're just going to keep missing. Because like Denzel isn't like a great offensive player or something. Hayward to pass to Washington. Three corner Rozier. That shot missing. And Golden State will come the other way. Puts up a three. They get it again. Oh. Fortunately, Wiggins was there that time. Let's see if they can mount a comeback while I'm out. Yes, they did. They did. They did. Did Steph get his basket? It's like that's the story of this game. Nope, he's still over. He's 0 for 11. That's crazy. We're gonna get we're gonna get him going, man. I'm convinced we're gonna get him going. We're gonna set the screens for him, get him going. A bad shot. If you're watching this game, Rand, you know, just just if you're watching this game a thousand years from now, Lamelo Ball has another brother in the NBA, Lonzo Ball's older brother, and he had another uh, he has another brother, Leangelo Ball. Who made who made the uh, Hornets preseason like uh, like practice like like not know the practice card but the team before the 15 men and um, Leangelo Ball is his name so they're basically they're, I, I think like the hope is that Leangelo will still make the NBA and uh, it's really cool that they have two brothers in the NBA at the same time and maybe a third so that's really cool they were they're called the Ball brothers Triple D's Lavar Ball is their dad he's honestly like that's a cool dish. It's hauled in by White. He anyway, it's back of the game. The first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his. Oh, nice pass. Goal. That one drops for him. Green's got his first basket of the night. We know nice Curry pass. has tremendous vision, and he uses it to tee up his team. So you even with Steph shot. not having scored a bucket yet, because of his playmaking, you know, his will, he's still been able to lead the team. Rebounded by Golden State. And like I said, I'm determined to get him the basket because it's Steph Curry. Outside Curry. Like we gotta get Steph a basket. White the pass to Curry. They set a pick. Okay. Outside Kaminga takes the three. That drops. Oh, and Jonathan Kaminga for three Curry's from Stephen Curry. The, game. Whoa, that 
man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive. Good try, good try. Give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Kaminga. Looking to get back on track. Here's White. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more it's aggressive. That's the engine of our You're offense, exactly right. you know? I mean, think about it. I don't know if I even scored one point on a pure... No, I think I scored one. But I haven't been challenging Williams offensively in, like, post-up ISO. You know, that's not the strength of Denzel's game. You know? He's a, he's a brick wall screener. You know, he's, he's like a, he's a team player. And the strength of his game is obviously his defense and rebounding, so... Where he, where we, we might win defensive player of the year. He might win MVP, but we definitely might win defensive player of the year for sure. So that's why it's like good job they've done rebounding on the offensive end tonight. He's a he's a presence in the, in the deep middle of the paint. Like. He leads the leads and leads the league and blocks the game. And obviously we play five minute quarters, so you can imagine like how ridiculous his stats are. But yeah, and get themselves to the line. That's really exactly wants Steph to get, to get a basket. You know that, for sure. I mean, so let's see if we can't get Steph a drawing contact and get into the free throw line. The Hornets making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. White the pass to Curry. White with a screen on Rozier. The three from Curry. There it is. And the three pointer goes. Curry. Curry. And, Curry. And, he's on the board for three. and I just feel good with Curry coming back strong with. Not good. You know, he's, he really is the engine of this team. Like, there was one of the games earlier in one of the other videos that we were down 10. Yes, and this was back when I was on, like, Pro, maybe. Or I was on All-Star, whatever. I don't know what was Pro. And um, Steph made, like, five threes in a row in three minutes left in the game. He just took the game over. And he won the game because of Steph. Like, that's why I'm saying we need Steph because, like, Denzel, like, he doesn't have an individual, like, if you ask Denzel to go and get you a bucket, it's not, like, a good proposition at this point. So, we need, like, he, he's a team player, so we're going to need, you know, he's not like a Kobe Bryant type NBA player, you know, he's a, Being one team, guys, you know, he's like a as long as they feel like that team is rebounding shot blocker archetype, obviously feel like comparing him to like NBA, he's, he's like so level. stacked, he like really can't be compared to NBA players, just because he's like so now broke good, but yeah, so and there the is now, way. we're raised of course, and now Steph scoring some more points. Here we go, MVP, MVP, MVP. Yeah, fearless play from Curry inside. Going I was hoping for the first defense, season that I would win shoot. defensive player and rookie of the year and Steph would win MVP. But I think I might win MVP just because my stats are better than Steph's. But that's just because I'm the well, my player, so that's cool. like just what it is, you know. But yeah, from like an RPG Oshier perspective, Steph Curry. would probably have won the MVP if it was real. Oh, uh, bad defense. Williams punches it home. Boy, nice vision that time from the point guard. Rozier's responsibility is to know when his teammate is open and get the ball there. Curry passes to Green. And here's Curry, hounded by Rozier. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Hey, this was exactly the kind of game coach wanted to see from them. High effort, great play at both ends, gets the win for the Warriors. Their transition game was the standout for me. Tempo, and we're really dictating the terms of the game. And they notch another win, number 34 of the year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They wish they could have seen more of these guys. Yeah, you know, I thought the result might be a little different this time around, but clearly I was mistaken. Now they'll have to wait till next year for a shot at revenge. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for MP. Oh, wow. So impressed with his performance today. He was confident. They don't he was run, but we built up a good the lead. So. Just didn't know how to adjust. Pool against Ball. Here's White. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Now here's Ball. He's guarded closely. Up top, Hayward. Three-pointer, no good. 
Murray passes to White. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Rozier can't get it to go. Outside Curry. To the inside. Here's White. And the shot goes in. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting three. Your Warriors. 75. The visiting team. 61. Nice. So now that we've done that, we should be able to meet Uncle Bobby at Percolate. Super cool. Of course, MP space on that billboard. So cool. So this one is the coolest one by far in the game. Coolest artwork is the Michael Jordan legacy in that one mural. It's just so cool. Looking so cool. If I remember correctly, the other court is actually over here, yeah. This is actually the court though, this way. To Robert Miles Court, yeah. So cool. My superstar. How you feeling, MP? I'm good, man. Uh, yeah. How you feeling? Good? I'm great. I'm great. Big day for both of us, yeah? Yeah, going national, man. Yes, <laughs> this is sir. Exciting. Walk with me. Come on. You got the script, right? Yeah. Any yeah. questions? No. No questions. All right. Now just remember, all I need from you is be cool. No, I mean impossibly cool. Yeah. yeah. Right? Any colder? You freeze to death. Yeah, yeah, I you got know? you. I got you. I know what you mean. We're an aspirational brand, right? So I need the folks at home to know they too can be as cool as you, if only they had a percolate in their hand. Yeah. Loud and clear, Uncle Bobby. Fantastic. Now, this is your mark. You stand there, right there on the tee. That's right here. Yep. We're facing out this way. Okay. Which way? Right here. Camera's over here. All right. Set it up, people. Quiet on the set, please. As many takes as you need, right? Okay. Ice cold. Cool. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> and action. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. You know, I've been drinking percolate for as long as I can remember. And I don't drink it because it's cool. I don't drink it because they plant a tree for every espresso that I buy. And I don't drink it because they pay me, which they do. I drink it because it's good. Darn good. Now, couldn't you go for a darn good cup of coffee as well? Brick a latte. I'll see you there.
Your Perco Latte billboard is a million times better than Chef's. Nice, we completed the uh, this one, and we got a an update about the classic. And we'll get to the Hammond. I think the Hammond Park will be the coolest quest line. It seems like it, right? It's building up to it. So if you if you're just new to the, what the story, basically the Hammond Park quest line is like basically the rivalry with Shep come to fruition. So we get, to, I think we get to play Shep in three on three, which is just going to be sick. And I think our teammates are J Cole and Tyler Hero, which is like unreal. I think so. So I'm just like. Super excited for that because Cole and Hero can ball. So we have a pretty good team with White, and that's like just super stacked. And um, so basically, like um, now the next one is uh, go to One City Plaza. So but we'd, I'd rather complete the college flashbacks first, just because they're fun. I just think that the Hammond Park will be even better. So this is so cool. So let's go ahead and start the college flashbacks. Actually, that will be next week's video. And so with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.